Ladies and gentlemen, bienvenidos a mi sala review for slash recreational comparison. <laughs> Listen, I know you guys are going to keep saying, hey, he but why are you doing comparisons of remasters in all games? Because I know there's a lot of you out there that don't like them. And I'm going to say it again. And if I have to say it in every video, then I shall. I'm lucky enough to have the privilege to own both of these games that I'm showing when I do these comparisons. So, I feel that by doing them, I can help the community that's out there, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Xbox Live that might run into my video, in kind of constructively breaking down the differences so that people can see that are on the fence that maybe are interested in picking up these games and want to pick them up and haven't because they don't feel that it justifies the purchase based on price. Here we have another remastered game from the 360 generation, which is Dark Siders 2, the definitive edition. And then, of course, that is here on my left on the Xbox One. On my right, it's the 360 version. Okay. I have Darksiders 2 on the Xbox 360 because it was free at one point through Xbox Live. So it's another digital game that we have. Now the Xbox, I also had it in physical disc form. So what I did was I sold it to GameStop again, got money for it, and paid the difference for Darksiders 2 on the Xbox One, which I paid a total or a grand total of $11. Dark Siders 1 is a remaster that, you know, was only $30, okay, but it comes with all of the DLCs, it comes with, uh, you know, uh, obviously the, the, the tweaks that, you know, everybody's looking for in remasters, but my only problem with Dark Siders 2 is that the tweaks are, I feel, in my opinion, and being as honest as possible, in my humble opinion, that they don't they weren't uh they weren't as drastic enough to warrant the purchase for thirty dollars uh, i think twenty dollars would have been more of the sweet spot for this game even though it does bring all the dlcs again maybe some people might not feel that way maybe some people won't but if you didn't play this game at all on 360 and skipped it this will be a great opportunity to re-pick it up and or pick it up for the first time and try it out because it's a very good game. It's basically a hack and slash action adventure RPG style game. It's very heavy on action uh, and somewhat heavy on the RPG elements. Uh, the storyline continues from the sequel or the first one rather, excuse me. <clears throat> which is the brother of the original character, which was name was War. And the good news is, for what I understand, for those who didn't play the first one, I believe we're getting a remaster of Part 1 as well in October with the bells and whistles. The difference is that they're going to actually bring it out for $20 with whatever came with the game. I don't know if it had DLC or not. I believe it did. Uh, remember, DLC is more heavy now in this generation for whatever reason as opposed to the 360 uh, generation, but they still had quite some some games with DLCs. So let's press start and let's get into it. I have my two wonderful assistants, my son and my son's friend. He's like family. Uh, like I said, I don't like using their names because I don't want to, uh, you know, um, put their pri my privacy of my family out there on, on, on the YouTube world. Too many, uh, you know, ignorant trolls. So here we go. The menu is pretty much, for the most part, is all the same standard basic. Uh, so once we get into the game, loading screen is kind of pretty much the same. Um, I just the only thing I can tell from the loading screen is that the Xbox One version on the right over here, or rather on the left, uh, it looks a little tad clearer. But that's the menu screen. Let's see where it goes from here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn off the flashlight for a second because it's so much glare. Uh, 
Such is the decree of the Charred Council. An ancient... Uh, it seems to me like right now, at the moment, the story that is being loaded up on the 360 is actually a little bit faster than the Xbox One. Uh, but I don't see no differences in this area other than just a slight clarity. Right, right. Um, the story of this uh, is that Death, which is War's brother, has come back down. They're the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They're actually four brothers. They're supposed to make two more games of these, but as everybody knows, THQ... Uh, I believe went bankrupt and Nordic Games actually bought the licensing a couple years back. The word on the street is rumor heavily that they are developing uh, Darksiders 3 and that is why they re-released these on the next generation consoles to try and stimulate the excitement again with the gamers that maybe missed out or never really played it. Uh, to bring out the sequel, uh, which I think makes perfect sense. I understand why. Uh, you know, did this game really need a actual remaster? My opinion, no, because it is a game that I believe is it backwards compat? No, it's not backwards compat. Okay, I had to ask my son because I refrained myself because I wasn't sure. I didn't remember. But it could have been put backwards compact because that's the beauty about Xbox One. They give you that nice little uh, feature and it's free and the privilege of getting it through BC. And of course, you get things through GameStop. You can get these games dirt cheap, uh, two, three, even five dollars as opposed to paying, uh, you know, let's say uh, 30 or 20 for a new game. Okay, I can tell you off the back from what I'm seeing right now. And again, I don't know if it's going to come off on the camera very well but i can tell you that the xbox one version is really really <clears throat> crisp it's very clean um it looks really uh like the details are more detailed uh, the silhouette glow of the horse looks more like an actual spirit around the horse not just the light like it does on the 360. Uh, the colors are more natural. Um, yeah, you can see the details on War, or actually Death. Uh, that uh, you can see his, his uh, you know, his details on his chest, his arms, and you know, his muscles. And I believe he has scars that are basically like the form of tattoos for the, in their world. Uh, the frame rate is 30 frames on both. The difference is one is upscaling to 1080p from 720, which is the 360. And on the Xbox One is 1080p native. Um, colors are more natural. On the Xbox One, on the 360, they're more like popping, vibrant, but they're like dark. It's almost like very blue on the 360. As opposed to the Xbox One, it looks like the cap colored should look. You have whites, you have uh, grays, a little shades of blue, because it's in the summer, in the snow time, and you see a snowstorm. Uh, you're in the mountains, high in the mountains. Uh, I can tell you that the gameplay for the game, when you're playing it um, on the Xbox One, is very smooth. You don't get no screen tears. You don't get no pop-ups. Uh, you see a lot more detail on the ground, for example, on the snow. You can see the glistening, kind of like in Tomb Raider, of uh, the snow. You know, you have like the little sparkle. And on the th Xbox 360, uh, it just looks kind of flat. It has the detail, but it looks almost a uh, little bit like it was drawn, not naturally there, popping out in 3D or protruding out uh, like on the Xbox One version. I hope this is coming out pretty decent on my camera or of my phone uh, because I'm recording and it, I could tell the difference while I'm recording it, but of course it's different when... This is uploaded to the channel, and you can actually see it uh, through YouTube. 
and another thing I'm recording it through my phone that supports HDR recording uh, in an OLED screen obviously it's a, a very different but I hope it comes out as best it can again the purpose for me to do these is like I said people that may may want to buy it again that don't mind buying a remastered as long as it has enough tweaks and changes and, and, and touches to to warrant the purchase you know you, by me giving you the detail verbally and descriptively uh, in person as I'm recording it because I own the games uh, I got a side-by-side -side panels that are exactly the same panels these are no different TVs it's the exact same TVs and the exact same settings based off of the, the way they need to be calibrated on each individual console because each console has their own calibration screen so you calibrate them based off the screen calibration menu on each console so there was nothing there's no cheating here there's no oh maybe you're using a cheaper TV or no they're both the same brand and the same size everything uh, so this is the real deal I know it's not an Elgato, so you can't see the details up close, but uh, this is in real time in my own home while my assistants are playing it. And they're doing a good job, by the way. Shout outs to them. I'm kind of mad because I wish I was playing right now. That's bullshit. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Darksiders 2, the de definitive aversion, edition was $30 right now it's been quite a few months since it's been out so you can probably get it right now at the moment probably for maybe 20 or maybe even $15 so that's more of an appealing or a better and more appealing price to begin with uh, here you go as I was trying to tell you it has some of the RPG elements you can go in here and you can kind of upgrade your character as you level up because as you're fighting it levels up by itself but every time you fight enemies, they drop loot, they drop accessories, they drop, uh, you know, weapons, armor, and you can just keep, you know, leveling up as you're playing the game. The game is a lot of fun so far, I can't, I gotta say, especially for those big on the Legend of Zelda style games, because it's very reminiscent to the old school Legend of Zeldas, as far as how you play the game and... The tempo of the game and you know uh, the style you know it's, it's an adventure hack and slash obviously this is more mature adult style because this game is more uh, directed to adults not like Legend of Zelda that is more for you know teens and younger kids but uh, yeah uh, this is uh, like again Darksiders 2 again I'll repeat it Darksiders 1 is being worked on it comes out in October I believe it comes out the same day as gears which I don't think is a smart move but it is an old game it is 20 bucks for what I understand it's gonna be 60 frames per second at 1080p it's gonna have more bells and whistles than this one for what I understand I I think what happened is that they did this one first and they didn't have enough money to put more changes in it but since it's sold I guess decently or well or better than they expected, they gave them more money for the first one, and they're actually putting more work and time into it. So, you know, again, if you never played it, either one, uh, this is the second game in the series. Uh, for all those who have, we're crossing our fingers to get the third, because it's supposed to be four games altogether. And I hope, like I said, that my explanation and my description of the differences will help you make your decision if you were in the fence about wanna buying this game or wanting to try it out. If you definitely never tried it, it's obvious it's you know just a logical decision to buy the best version which is on the Xbox One which you see here on my left. Uh, you know if you bought it on 360 played it and don't feel that any of the things I told you of the differences warrants the purchase again then don't then you know don't buy it. Just wait for it to come on, on backwards compact. Uh, you know? So, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me feedback. Let me know if you like this, uh, this, this style of my comparisons, uh, how you feel about it. Uh, you know, and, um, and, and let me know because all your comments and opinions, uh, you know, help in every way possible, whether they're good or bad. 
please try to be as respectful as possible. That's all I ask. Uh, you know, if you don't like to watch my channel and my content, don't watch. You know, uh, Xbox for life, like a sickness that can't be cured. Come check me out, IntromediateGaming.com. Check out the gang with Mr. 100 and the rest of us. And at uh, the World of Xbox Gaming Group on Facebook, you can check me out there. It's a private group, but you can still uh, probably see our post. Check me out with New Fleagle Felon and the guys over there. Those guys are great people. Not, per not necessarily YouTubers, but real gamers who are passionate and love gaming and follow up all the YouTubers like myself out there and give us support even though it's behind the scenes. So I'm their word of mouth and their representative and I represent them uh, because I'm an admin there and they're great guys and that's my gaming group as well. I hope you like the comparison and you know I got a couple more coming your way. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.